Hey guys! Hey guys! <laughs> so today I am going to be making a video all about Luna. You guys have seen her in my labor and delivery video and if you follow me on Snapchat or Instagram you have seen way too many pictures of her. But here is her live and in action. I mean not really very much action but <laughs> she looks very angry. Okay, don't want to look at the camera? Luna was born on April 17th, 2016. She was born at 12.23, I believe, um, in the afternoon on a Sunday. She was 7 pounds and 13 ounces, and she was 21 and I believe 21 and a half inches long. So yeah, she was a pretty decently sized baby. Everybody would tell me that they thought that she was going to be like a tiny baby because I'm on the smaller side. Um, but no, she was almost eight pounds and I was like, how did I do that? I have no idea. I talked about in one of my pregnancy updates that I felt like she was sucking her thumb when she was in the womb. And when she came out, she kind of proved that to us and she was like constantly trying to put her hands in her mouth and it's like she just knew what to do. And then another thing was that we noticed that she seemed to have a really strong neck. Since she's been born, she's always hated when you try to like hold the back of her head to you. And to, like if she's laying on your belly, if you're laying like chest to chest, then she'll be like trying to lift up her head and like banging her head into your chest. Um, so she's been doing that since she was born. And it really surprised me because I've been around kids for a lot of my life and I've been in childcare a lot and I have never seen that um, so early. I'm maybe bouncing because I didn't want to start crying. And then also one thing about her when she was born is that she had a lot of hair. Um, they were telling me that as I was pushing and she was like crowning for a little while, um, I actually felt her hair and how much hair she had. She had so much hair. I think a good bit of her hair has fallen out but there's still there's still quite a bit left, huh? I talked about her breastfeeding more in my breastfeeding video in my postpartum series, so if you guys wanna hear more about that, you can watch that video, but she did great breastfeeding from the beginning. We did have a few like hiccups um, when it came to like her latch and stuff like that, but everything else was mainly just related to mom. She's like trying to stand up right now, like <laughs> she does not like sitting down, huh? So when we were at the hospital, she, like I said, she weighed seven pounds and 13 ounces. And by the time we were going to leave, they weighed her again and she had dropped to, I think, seven pounds and like six ounces. So it was a considerable amount of weight um, and the pediatrician was a little bit concerned. So he just wanted to check on her again later in the week. Um, so we went back in and I think she went up to, so I think she gained back her birth weight already um, when usually it takes about two weeks for them to gain back their birth weight. Um, so that was really great. We ended up having another doctor's appointment with her pediatrician because she had been kind of acting weird. Um, this was during around when she had turned two weeks. Um, she had kind of been acting weird, a little bit more fussy, um, and I felt like she was kind of breathing weird. I have allergies, and I thought maybe that had something to do with it because she kind of sounded like she was a little congested. But we took her in, and he checked her breathing, and she was fine with that. He did say that she was a little bit congested, and we did end up starting to use nose drops. They're just saline drops that you drop in her nose. She hates them. Um, but we use those to kind of help clear out the congestion. So after he checked that, he went to check her ears and he wasn't like expecting to see anything, but it turned out that there was a little bit of fluid in her ears, which meant that she had a small ear infection, which is pretty much like unknown when it comes to babies that young, um, especially when they're breastfeeding. So he was really surprised and I was really surprised. So she was on an antibiotic for uh, about a week and he just wanted to get her on that even though it was like a slight ear infection she didn't have the immune system yet to fight it off herself and now i'm taking probiotics too so she kind of gets that into her system through my breast milk um so it kind of balances out her umbilical cord stump fell off i think they say it's usually supposed to be like two weeks around two weeks it's supposed to fall out it fell off around like eight days or something like that um, and I was like freaking out because it fell out like in the middle of the night and I found it in the bed and then her belly button was bleeding. 
um, and that lasted for about like three days, just kind of on and off if it would rub against like her pants or, or if it would rub up against us when we were holding her. I ended up just cleaning it with some, with water and just kind of letting it air out um, to kind of dry it up and that helped a lot. So along with congestion and the ear infection, I knew that a humidifier would help loosen things up. Um, I was taking her into the shower with me, not like into the shower, but into the bathroom with me, um, so then the steam could kind of help loosen up any mucus that was in like her chest. But she didn't really like sitting in the bathroom um, for a long period of time, so we got a humidifier, and it's a cool mist humidifier. I'll try to put the link to it down below. I am gonna be doing a mommy I am going to be doing like a mommy and baby favorites video, um, so I might mention that in that video. It's a cool mist, so it doesn't make the room hot or anything. It actually cools it down a little bit. So as far as sleeping, like I think I mentioned, she's been sleeping pretty well um, since she's been born. There's only been like a few times when she's been a little bit more fussy at night. Um, but usually she's pretty good. I can usually tell if she's having like a growth spurt or something like that by how she goes to sleep at night. Um, she's just a little bit more restless and um, she wants to eat more. We do have a bassinet type of, it's kind of like a mini pack and play for her. Um, it has like a bassinet attachment to it. And we had that next to the bed. We were actually both sleeping out in the living room for the, I think it was a week and a half that Chris was home. Um, and she was sleeping in that swaddle. And then, I don't know how it happened, but it just kind of happened and she started sleeping with us. Um, mainly just me because it, it really didn't happen until Chris went back to work and he was still sleeping out in the living room. He still is actually. <laughs> the main reason why I did that was once she did get the ear infection, I just kind of wanted to be able to keep an eye on her. I just like being able to just look at her and know that she's breathing, know that she's okay, just be able to touch her real quick. If you guys would like to see her two month update, then I will put a link to that on the screen and I will see you guys in the next video. If you have any other videos you'd like to see, let me know down below and yeah, love you.